Welcome back to V2 Gaming. My name is Volkraza, and today we are doing a little bit of a short update about uh, the workshop world I've created, the modular ships. Um, you guys have made suggestions, and uh, there has been a lot, so you, I'll just put a list right over here. See that? Those, yeah, those people right there. Sweet. All right. Uh, let's just jump right in, shall we? Alright, so what we have here today is the very first module is the escape pod module. I'm just going to copy this particular one here. There we go. Go back. I just want to end, you know, and maintain the integrity of this particular version so I can show you how it works. Oh, whoops. I don't want it to float away. There we go. Okay, so we come over here, and we'll come around to the back, as if, you know, we had gravity or whatever. Uh, and it's very simple. Uh, there's two doors. They, they basically are on a piston and a rotor together. And it was uh, really it was really a challenge to put this together. You'll see how it works in a minute. But basically, this piston pulls backwards, and this rotor lifts the door up. And then it all slides into place and, you know, opens this nice bay. Okay, now well, I can show you how that works. Also, I have emergency, uh, like, flashy lights or, you know, warning bays and bay doors open. Okay, so let's just activate this first one here. All right, there goes the lights. It's uh, opening up and uh, expanding out. Uh, so you can launch your escape pod and on the other side it goes the other direction just because you know rotors are well i just like the way that looked uh, anyway all right moving on so this is the uh, actual escape pod um it's set up with a magnetic lock for a, con a connector um you just get, hop in and press t or p i mean okay, so t press p Move forward, and you can. I will be uh, eventually setting these up to where you can just the uh, uh, engines will be turned off, and you can uh, uh, then like power them on with a button switch and then you know hop out. But for you know, emergency purposes, this works pretty good. Now, it's a fairly simplistic design, nothing really. Uh, super amazing. Uh, it works. There's two escape, not escape pods, but two uh, small cargo containers on the back. So if you wanted to fill these with supplies before you set off on your mission, uh, probably a good idea. You know, there's like a couple of grind, uh, a few grinders, and some other stuff, and some you know stuff to build things with, just raw materials or, or raw components, I should say. Um, that would probably be good. So anyway, that is that. I'm pretty pretty happy with this. Uh, there's a lot of parts floating around here. I will eventually be releasing these as blueprints and then putting them into a collection for you guys to download. Uh, just a lot of work. Also, if you notice, there are a lot of copies of these. I will be reworking these parts here, the ones that are will have a copy above them, to uh, basically support conveyors. Um, a lot of people were like, hey, I gotta kind of mess things up a bit to uh, get these conveyors to really work, and there's just a lot of parts that are missing it, so could you please add conveyors? So I will be adding a non-conveyor version and a conveyor version. Uh, I will probably publish the conveyor version, just leave the non-conveyor versions in this particular world. All right, so moving on, we have the uh, L-shaped, uh, uh, basically L-shaped module here. It's pretty self-explanatory it's there i also put windows on here to you know because most of my modules do not have a lot of window space so i've been trying to put a nice interior make everything fit um, you know when you have gravity it'll, you can either be upside down or whatever it's, they're they're pretty much symmetrical for the most part of one one plane and it looks really cool you know okay. Look out there, and it has a little window right here. Uh, I figured, you know, the inner corner here will be probably hugging the ship, so you won't want to want to see out uh, the interior part of the ship. But you know, hey, maybe not. All right, so moving on, we have the T-shaped uh, module here, and I'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out. It's pretty much a nice pathway between different sections of the ship. 
Plus I put a little something cool in the middle here. You guys like that. Uh, just a little kind of like architectural design kind of thing. You have the uh, conveyors here uh, connecting to the rest of the ship. And I figured I'd put this here because it looks cool. And, uh, you know, I'm very, I like to, I'm, I'm artistic by nature, so. And, and during my architectural classes that I've taken over the years, the, these pictures like these are very commonplace in like meeting areas. So, uh, I just really like how that looks. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, now we have wings. Uh, I believe somebody suggested the wings. I, I don't remember exactly who, but you know, I put your, your names there in the list. Uh, it's a great idea. I did two versions uh, right now. I'll add more wings eventually, but for now, you have one with a thruster and one without a thruster. And there's two different kinds. One more like a longer wing and then one like a shorter wing. And again, you can take the nacelles and uh, trim these down a little if you want to stick them on the end, and it will probably work just fine. Now the last module, and I don't know why I didn't have this at the very beginning, but uh, <laughs> I completely spaced it. How about that, huh? This is the factory and production module. So you can put this on your ship, and uh, it basically becomes a mobile factory. Uh, I have two. This is it's symmet It's uh, symmetrical on each side. Uh, so this side is the exact same on the very on the very opposite side, and I try to make this look as stylistically awesome as possible, and with gravity in mind. Uh, so you can walk through here, lots of window space you can see out, and over here you can have somebody uh, guiding a ship in to dock and drop off their their payload, which would then get piped in and sent to the two refineries here, two and two arc refineries as well, arc reactors. Uh, arc reactors, I mean arc refineries. Um, let's see, as I say, arc furnace. Pardon me. Arc furnace. Alright, so moving on, we also have two assemblers right here at the very end. And of course, if you need to get out and uh, inspect you know, your ship before it docks, there's uh, that on both sides. And that's pretty much it for now. I'll be working on the turret bay, the turret bays as well as uh, some other uh, expanding the fighter bay hangars and some other particular functions. I eventually will build a few more uh, pre-designed ships for you guys to like fly around, but for now I need to be working on uh, getting these other parts uh, conveyed up and pretty. All right, well, I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by and watching. I'm really excited about this pack. Uh, you guys just keep making awesome suggestions, and that's what I really love about this community. Uh, so thank you again, and I will see you next time. And as always, be good.